and next tip to select the object closest to your mouth mouse cursor um, hold on I'm gonna for this I'm gonna duplicate the cube hold on no I'm gonna go into edit mode select all shift D duplicating also works in edit mode now deselect all to select the object closest to your mouse cursor put your mouse cursor close to it obviously and press L or over here L now they're both selected that's useful if you've got a few objects in your um, I want keep saying one I want to keep saying comp composition but it's probably because I've worked with After Effects for too long what's this if you're in your scene exactly if you've got lots of objects in your scene and you want to select a few of them just go uh, put your cursor up to them and press L that's useful or if you've got a, one part selected of an object for example a face an edge or a vers vertex and then you want to select all of that object just press control L and the whole object gets selected just that object okay next tip using M exactly using M in object mode edit mode sorry I keep, I keep saying the wrong thing sorry U using M in object mode as I showed you M moves the object to another layer but in edit mode you can get into the mirror view you can mirror it on the global axis on the global what's the plural of axis? hmm no clue on the x axis x, y and z or on the local axis which in this case wouldn't be a difference because the cube is set up in the middle of the of the scene on this one it may, would make a difference though if I mirror this on the global axis wait why did damn it <laughs> forget that try it on it yourself mine somehow it doesn't work all well when I want it oh damn it I'm so stupid this is a cube you won't be able to see any mirroring on that because it's it's a simple cube it looks the same from every angle or you can <laughs> as I said <laughs> sorry I'm just, I just feel so stupid now Um, mirror on its local axis like I showed with the camera the local axis something different or on the axis of your view so you can mirror on three different ways three different axes you can mirror it on three different I uh, you know what I mean just forget that I can't find the right words okay now I'm gonna go into vertex select mode and so turn that off that object uh, that option is for limit selection to visible if I now select that vertex I could accidentally select that vertex back there. If I have that turned on, I can't. I just only can select the vertex, vertices, or the edges, or the faces that I can actually see. On fa when selecting faces, that's really useful. Now I'm going to box select with B these vertices up here, and I'm going to press Alt M to merge them all into a simple point. Now there's a, um, a few different um, options here. I'm just going to show you the first two. You can merge them at the center. It's going to show you that I removed three vertices and merge these at the center. I apparently have this object duplicated, which I didn't know. I'm just going to start a new scene here. Go into edit mode. Select these vertices, Alt M at center. There you go. And now I've got a pyramid because those vertices were all merged at the center of those vertices. Good. Now, another new scene. Tab A B. Then I'm gonna Alt M merge these at my cursor. You notice the cursor is in the middle here, so that's the difference between at center and at cursor. Just be uh, be careful where you put your cursor when you click at cursor. Some something stupid like um, like this could easily happen when you press Alt M at cursor. Oh, whoops! What did I do now? That looks crappy. Be careful where you put your cursor. Now the next tip. We're still in edit mode here. Um, in edit mode, you can also use U to undo and Shift U to redo. I like sticking to Control Z and Control Alt Z because that's just the global keys I can use anytime, anywhere. Just so you know. And something really cool now I want to show you as a last tip for this tip special. I hope I can <laughs> still cram this into one video. Is using Control and left mouse click. Is use um, that duplicates the wanted object at where you click. So I can duplicate there, 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 over there. Really useful for fast duplicating. 
and which is even cooler if I now undo these changes if I've only got one one simple look there you go I accidentally selected that vertex back there but who cares works the same and if you've had a simple vertex or vertexes vertices not vertices vertices selected and you control click with this it stays connected to the first one so you can draw a line here or if you've got A to deselect all let's say these vertices is selected up here and you control click it makes that whole edge now this might look something crappy but you could <laughs> do that use that a little more a little well think when you use this don't just click anywhere use your views your different views from the different viewports oh, viewports from 3ds max use your different views for one front view side view three seven top view and click where you need it don't just click anywhere because something ugly could happen now this was the tip special for today I hope you actually actually learned something or you made some notes and thanks for watching Bye.